Well, hello there, and welcome to a little mix it up tutorial. I'm Effector of Change. I had some teammates asking me some questions about how to set up automatic shout outs in uh, mix it up. And so we're going to show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do in mix it up is I'm going to go ahead and let's just make us a shadow command, right? So to make a new command and mix it up, it's pretty simple. You go over to commands. You're going to click new command right here and then pop up this little dialogue box. We move it over here so you can see it. So we're going to name this uh, the shout out command. Groups is where you can organize some of your things. I tend to keep mine sorted out and you can kind of organize as you'd like. I'm just going to leave it default for now. And uh, a lot of people's common shout out is just SO is the uh, words that they tend to use when they're shouting somebody out. You can kind of put whatever command you want in here uh, for because I have some shout outs already. That's not going to work. So we're going to just do the word shout out because that's one I don't have set up, but a lot of people will do SO. So then, all right, so what that means is anytime someone types exclamation point SO into the chat, it's going to make whatever this command has set up function. So what you want it to do likely is you want it to make a chat message, right? So here's a chat message. And we're going to say, hey, cuties, go check out. And then we're going to put something here, right? They are an awesome streamer. All right. So we'll save that and we pull up the dashboard here. Where is my dashboard? There we go. I'm going to click dashboard so we can just kind of pull this up as we need. So if I do shout out. That's literally all it's going to do is it's just going to pull out what we just did, right? It's going to say, OK, I'm shouting you out already. Here you go. Hey, cuties, go check out. And then whatever that said. That's the basic way that you're going to set up a command. So we want it to do a little bit more than just a chat command, right? That's the same way you'll set up any standard command and mix it up. Let's go back to that shout out command we just created. Go edit. So in mix it up, there's some syntax that you're going to follow. There's something that are called arguments. So arguments are the number of words collectively like put together after the commands. So this is argument one, argument two, argument three, all the way up to argument 99. And you can actually pull that information out, which is kind of cool after this command. What we want it to do is we want to change this to pull a username, a username. So typically what that means is I'm going to do shout out and then I'm going to type a person's name in. And so some of the ways that you can do that are using what are called special identifiers. There's a lot of different ones. There's different ways you can do it. The so one way I can do it is I can say arg text one. What that's going to do is whatever I typed after shout out, it's going to type it right here. So if I click save and I go shout out factor of change. I didn't work, did it? <laughs> yeah, hold on. So go to our references over here. Move that over there. These are special identifiers. They're different ones that we can select from right on the wiki over here. So if we're looking for an argument, Arg one text, arg one text is what we want. So we want this to say that's where I got it incorrectly. Arg one text is what we want it to say. OK, so we're going to save that command and let's run it again. Kitty cat. Shout out a vector of change. Bam. There it is. Hey, kitties, go check out a vector of change. They're an awesome streamer. So that automatically figured out what thing I wanted. 
there's an issue here, right? There's an at symbol here. That's not gonna work for a twitch.tv link, is it? So let's think in our hats what other special identifiers there might be. So if we pop over here, there is a target user. And there's a set of arguments specific to that that we can mess around with. I believe. Which sub count adds. Hi, Google. Bar. URL. So as you can see here, user URL is a special identifier, the full URL to their channel page. So that's the one that we're going to want to look for. So let's go back to our command, our shadow command. So here it is. Uh, hey, cuties, go check out arg1 text. So that kind of works, but it's not going to give us the link. So what we want to do is we're going to type in that dollar sign again. We're looking for a special identifier. And in this case, the identifier, according to the wiki, is uh, user ID, user ID, or sorry, user URL, user URL. So we're going to type user URL, but we're also going to do target, right? Because we're targeting them with this shout out command. So we're going to do target URL. There we go. We're going to save that. And now when I do shout out, the vector of change. Look at that. We've got hey cuties, go check out the name. They're an awesome streamer. And there is the full link to their page right there in the chat. So that is one way that you can set up a shout out command. So let's say you've got a group of friends, right? You got a group of friends that you would like to shout out all collectively at the same time automatically without even having to think about it. You're going to want to have an auto shout out, which is part of this tutorial that we're going to do. So in this case, um, I have a team. I have a team on. Uh, we're I'm part of the I have a team. I'm on part of the treppies. And so let's say I want to make a command for all of my treppies homies, right? So building off of what we did here, we're going to say, um, hello. We're just going to duplicate this. We're going to and do that one. So we're going to change this to say. Oh, my gosh, everyone. Welcome user. There we go to the stream. They are a fellow member of team of my stream team treppies. We'll have it say that. So now again, I'm going to save that. If I do shout out, it should pull up that new text. Oh my gosh, everyone, welcome Effector of Change of the Stream. They're a fellow member of my stream team, Treppies. And it gives you the link once again, which is pretty helpful. So if we want that to happen automatically, we're going to have to mess around and mix it up in the events section. There's a lot of different areas here of things that you can do. It's a very flexible bot, I must say. I use it as bot for everything that I do. But if you want to make an auto shout out, what you're going to want to do is you're going to look at events. Events is what we're going to look for. There's a lot of different kinds of events that get triggered. So some of the ones that I have automatically in the Twitch area, we've got a lot of options. When you start a stream, you can have it do something. When you stop the stream, you can have it go do some things. If somebody follows you, you can have a command go off. If you get raided, if people subscribe, resub, if you got a raid going out, a lot of different options and integrations on things that you can do based on when these things happen during or before, or it seems like after stream, which is pretty handy. They have some integrations as well for YouTube and Trovo if you're streaming on those platforms. I do not really stream on those platforms. I don't know much about it. I do like that it integrates as well with Tiltify. But when you're doing charity and you're using Tiltify, you have to set it up with the correct uh, campaign. 
but it'll automatically do some commands for you. So if you're doing, I think I did a stream where we did a charity and anytime someone donated money, it added time to a wheel. And so I used to uh, mix it up with this Tiltify integration to automatically add time to the timer. Didn't have to think about it, didn't have to enter a command. Mix it up, handled it all for me, which made my life so much easier. Same with like a donathon, things like that. It's just really handy. But what we're looking for to do an auto shout out is going to be under this chat window. So if we click chat, there's a few things here that we can look at. So when somebody joins the chat, when somebody gets banned, you can have it do something. One of my streamer friends, Emmy Injuru, when someone gets banned because she gets a lot of bots, they get banned automatically. It plays a sound alert, <laughs> which is really funny. If she ever gets a bunch of them at the same time, it just like spams that sound alert. It's so funny. Absolutely hilarious. Uh, a lot of people will joke around doing timeouts. So you can have it do some silly integration there. But what we're looking for to get an auto shadow is under this what's called chat user entrance command in generic. So what that means is that when a user types in a message into your chat for the first time during your stream, Mix It Up is going to look at that person and it's going to do a command. Whatever that command is, it's going to gather a couple things. It's going to probably gather the username and it might gather the message. I'm not sure exactly all the things it can collect, but that's really handy if we want to have an auto shout out, right? So it, my auto shout out, how it's set up, I have a bunch of them. I have a bunch of them because I have a lot of brands that I have auto shout out set up for. I am on three stream teams currently. I am a co-mod for Fruities. I am a member of Treppies. And most recently I joined Club CRT. So I set up auto shouties for all three of my stream teams. So we've got uh, lists here where it's just the person that's a Treppy, just the person who's a Fruity, just a person who's Club CRT. I've also got a list for anybody who's on two of the stream teams. So anybody who has both Fruities and Treppies, they get added to this list. Anyone who's Treppies and CRT are here. And my triple teammates, all three, get to live here, which is super, super handy. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, I have a file that I saved. Uh, that you can upload. And so to upload a uh, command, uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to go to this little button here. If you've downloaded the file, and you're going to go into the file browser here. And I believe this is my most recent one for Rudy's. Let me get Treppies because we're we're doing Treppies today, right? We're going to look at this user entrance, all treppies. I'm going to open this. That's going to import a command. There it is. So this just uploaded this command. And if I take a peek here, this should be a list of every single member of the treppy stream team. There's a lot of them, and it's an alphabetical order, which is kind of handy. So here they all are. I'm just kind of scrolling through and making sure that list looks correct. Looks like they are all there, including my double, triple teammates, because this is just a basic one. Um, it's going to be different, obviously, the one that I have, because this list is different. But that's all you got to do if you are trying to set up auto shouties and you've got the file that I saved. All you're going to do is you're going to upload it right here. Using that button, you're going to put your command here. So what this is going to do is mix it up. If any of these individuals does a first time chat in your stream, mix it up is going to go, OK, uh, I found that this person is here and to take that special identifier and then you're going to link it to the shout out command that you've created, whatever that command is. So the one that we just created today is going to be under shout out that one right there that's the one we just created together and uh you're gonna have this toggle so it's gonna put that name and then it's gonna put this username in and so it's gonna do 
shout out Zelda if Zelda shows up in my chat. Shout out Unaleska if Unaleska shows up in my chat. An important toggle that you don't want to change is you do not want to uncheck this ignore usage requirements. What that does is that nullifies putting this optional command argument in. You want to make sure that that is ticked off in order for this to function. Unfortunately, there's really no way to test that this is working properly until you go live, but that's all you need to do. You just need to make sure you have a shout out command specific to the team. And then you got to just import that file. If you want to be a little extra, you can find yourself on the list. So I'm all the way up top under A, a vector of change. You can delete you right off that list if you'd like. And then you have your list here uh, for all your folks here that are on the team. And you're just going to go save. And you're all set. Your auto shaddies are done. Literally, it takes less than 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 five minutes uh, just uploading that file. You just got to make sure you put it here under the chat user entrance command. You should be good to go. Hopefully that is helpful and uh, we'll See you soon. Bye.